Writing the perfect chat GPT prompt can be hard. How many times have you written a prompt only to find that the results weren't quite what you're looking for? And then you find you've got to endlessly press please continue or regenerate response or try and come up with something better. Well in this video I'm going to give you a number of different tips which will help you write the perfect chat GPT prompt and get the outputs that you need. Ask chat GPT for help. So if you're using ChatGPT or another AI tool to write or research an article, rather than putting in the first prompt that springs to mind, why not ask ChatGPT for a few ideas? So I was researching how to write an article about training for a marathon for the first time. I had a couple of different prompts that I was going to ask it. But before I started putting in these prompts that sprung to mind, I asked ChatGPT to write me some prompts instead. And I came up with 10 different suggestions which I could potentially put into this AI tool or which I could rework myself. Ask ChatGPT follow-up prompts till you find a better one that more suits your original intent. So I started out with my generic prompt to write me an article about running a marathon. And the results were pretty bland. So I asked ChatGPT a follow-up question to turn these into actionable steps. And now it's given me 10 different steps that I could use to train for a marathon. And again, I could ask ChatGPT a series of follow-up questions until I find the right prompt. And remember, because ChatGPT has some constraints and limitations, for example, memory, much like a computer, sometimes it's useful to start a brand new chat once you've found the right prompt for whatever it is that you're working on. Be as specific as possible with your prompts. Consider the themes and topics that the output should cover or should address. So if you take the example of writing an article to train for the New York City Marathon, first up I've been specific by saying that I'm a health and fitness writer. And I've also mentioned my target audience, which is beginners training for the New York City Marathon. So this is a lot more specific than simply asking ChatGPT to provide some generic marathon training prompts. But I've actually gone one step further and I've said that this article should also include information about how to create a training plan and it should emphasize topics like endurance, and gradually increasing mileage over time. And I also asked ChatGPT to emphasize the importance of cross training, strength training, and rest days. Now these are all key themes or topics that are addressed in any good marathon training plan. However, I would take a good bit of time to research all of these, and this is where ChatGPT can help. So you can see I've got a good headline about the New York City Marathon. I've got information about my training plan, and there are also sections about cross training, strength training, rest and recovery, speed work, tapering, and so on. It looks like this initial draft of an article has included all of the sections that I would need to brief this to another writer, or perhaps to expand on this myself. Specify the output that you want from ChatGPT. Don't be afraid to experiment here. So when people use ChatGPT or other AI tools for the first time, they often just look for text or paragraphs that they can review or reuse. But why not put all of that information into a table or into some other formats that are much easier to scan? So in this case, I wrote a slightly different, more specific prompt. I specified that my intent was to write a series of articles about running a marathon, and I asked ChatGPT to prepare what's called a topical map. So a topical map is basically a map of all of the content or topics related to a specific area of interest. Think of it as like a list of ideas that you should write about. Now sometimes information like this can be a little bit overwhelming and it's easier to scan it inside of a table. I asked ChatGPT to do just that and I also asked it to provide a brief summary for each suggestion. Now it's given me 10 plus different topics that I could potentially write about as well as a summary of what each one of these topics or articles should cover. And of course I could turn each one of these into individual prompts inside of ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT to write like a human. Sometimes when writers or prompt engineers are using ChatGPT or Google Bard or other AI tools to generate content, they may use it or publish it as is. But this is a big mistake. So here's an introduction to an article that ChatGPT produced all about what it feels like to achieve a personal best at a marathon. Now I was pretty pleased with the results. It has lots of vivid and emotional language and imagery, and it could work as an introduction. But there's a big problem. When I take this text and put it into an AI content detector, like originality.ai, you can see that it flags up 97% of the content as written by bots. 
Thankfully, there is a way around this. So you could rewrite this content yourself, and that's going to take a little bit of time. Or you could give it a prompt like this. Rewrite this introduction so it's more personal and sounds like it was written by a human and uses sentence variation and speaks to the reader. The key parts of this prompt are written by a human and uses sentence variation. The results are a little bit better, but most importantly, when I paste it into an AI content detector, it comes up as 98% original. So take a little bit of extra time to rework those initial early drafts from ChatGPT or Google Bard. Ask ChatGPT to produce an outline instead. Sure, ChatGPT can spit out a few hundred words quickly and easily, but let's face it, you'll often have to rework, revise, and expand upon the results. And it can take a little bit of time for ChatGPT to generate something that you can actually use. So instead, why not ask ChatGPT to create an outline? Because this could give your article a bit of structure. And then you could also use this outline to come up with some different prompts. So rather than asking ChatGPT to produce my entire article, I asked it to create an outline of all of the topics that this article should cover. And it mentioned topics like getting started, my training plan, nutrition and hydration, gears, equipment, and race day. Now all of these could become individual articles, or this could simply become a guide that I could follow if I were to write this article myself or brief it to another writer. Let's face it, writing the ideal prompt for ChatGPT can be time consuming and a bit frustrating, even if you follow all the tips that I've mentioned in the video. Now I did say that there's some software that can help. Enter Prompt Perfect, which is a new tool that I've been testing. Basically, you can take those bland generic prompts, plug them into Prompt Perfect, and it'll create something that's much more usable. It's free to try, and you can create a limited amount of prompts, which I'll show you in a moment. But if you want to use it more extensively as part of your writing workflow, then you're going to need to pay $10 per month. They even have a plugin for ChatGPT, which you can use but I've had better results using the Prompt Perfect website. Prompt Perfect can seem a little bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's actually pretty easy to use. Once you log in, you're going to select ChatGPT as your text model. Now, there are other options that you can pick from, but I've had the best results by simply picking ChatGPT and using the output. There are also models or options if you're going to use AI software to create images, but let's just focus on writing prompts for the example that I mentioned earlier on in this video. When you log into Prompt Perfect, it can seem a little bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's actually pretty easy to use. So first up, pick your ideal text model. Now there are lots of different options, including ChatGPT, ChatGPT4, and some other AI tools. There are even models if you're using AI to create images. But for the purposes of the example in this video, let's just pick ChatGPT. And I've had the best results with this output. And then all you do is paste in your original prompt and give Prompt Perfect a few minutes to iterate it. So I put in the prompt, I'm a health and fitness writer, writing an article for beginners who want to race the New York City Marathon. And I thought this prompt was reasonably okay. It was specific and it did specify my intent. But Prompt Perfect optimized this prompt into one that was several paragraphs in length. So it included specific topics and themes that ChatGPT should cover, and it also provided information about the writing style and tone of voice, saying that ChatGPT should produce something that's engaging, informative, and suitable. And if I'm a little bit unclear about what exactly has been changed, there is an option to see what has been optimized. And it does a side-by-side -side command. You can even use Prompt Perfect to create prompts in bulk, which you can upload to a spreadsheet or share them with others. But in this case, I'm just going to copy the prompt to my clipboard and then go back over to ChatGPT and see what it can produce. Here is the article that ChatGPT produced using the prompt perfect prompt. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that this is entirely usable, but it's certainly more nuanced and researched than previous outputs from ChatGPT. And I particularly liked that it included a reference section, so this would save me some time during the research process. Now, I wouldn't use this content as is. Instead, my ideal workflow would be to use a tool like Prompt Perfect to come up with prompts for individual sections in the article and then go and generate these inside of ChatGPT. So it's not something that's going to write an article for you verbatim, but it can save you a good bit of time. I've also found it sometimes helpful to take prompts from ChatGPT and plug them into other AI tools to see what the results are like. For example, in some cases, I've had better results with the output from Google Bard versus ChatGPT. 
What are your favourite tips for writing better ChatGPT prompts? Let me know in the comments section below this video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to watch more videos about the latest AI writing software.